Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over fake jobs. <laughs> Obviously, if you're new to make sure you know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So this happened to me recently. So actually it's happened to me a couple of times. So be weary of fake jobs. So like for anyone watching this video, I know people follow me and watch me watch my videos because of tutorial, training, or my my um value or my process of thinking when it comes to jobs or when it comes to doing getting search certification and stuff like that. Be weary of fake jobs online. So I'm going to give you a list of things to be wary of. So number one is they ask you for a social security number. That's a, that's probably not real, most likely. You shouldn't be asking you for that information. Um, that's number one. Number two is, which has happened to me, they um, they ask you to give to for you to spend money, like literally go to the store and buy your own equipment, like your hardware equipment, like your Mac, like your laptop, your Windows machine, whatever, to buy your own equipment, literally to start with them. Um, and then number three, it's going to be, um, they give you like a fake check that bounces back and they want you to use that check to buy equipment. There's another way of doing it. So instead of you buying it and they reimburse you, they instead give you a fake check and they expect you to spend money using that check and you get a bounce back and it doesn't work. So they oh yeah, we'll reimburse you afterwards. So that's a, that's a scam. Um, another one would be, um, which happened to me. Uh, I did, I did zero interviews. So this was when, I, this was when I, when I was out of work, I was looking for a job. I right, I was out of work a couple months ago. So I did zero job interviews and they said, I got the offer letter. I'm like, I didn't even do any job interviews. How the hell did I get this job? It doesn't make any sense. Am I going to interview anyone? No, you got the job. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to share my screen and show you a really fake <laughs> offer letter that I got. You'd be like, oh shit, Kev, that's crazy. So I was looking for work um, uh, when I when I got laid off at the beginning of December. It was actually an email from December. Um, and let me let me download it real quick just so I have it on my screen so I can show you. And I'm gonna put them on blast because they're not even real. So the even the location is not even real, which is crazy. So this is the this is the R for letter. So it says, Dear Kevin, uh, Bur uh, Bur Wealth Group, we are pleased to offer you in the following terms of agreement. You will be a system admin on an entry, on an entry remote position. You'll be reporting to Marshall M. This is a full-time remote position, although while you while you render services to company, you can still be engaged in any other, any other employment, consulting, other business activities, blah, blah, blah. The company will pay you a starting salary at the rate of $80 per hour, <laughs> $40 per hour during training payable in accordance with the company's standard payroll schedule. You'll be receiving your salary either via check or direct deposit. We offer compre comprehensive insurance benefits to all the employees who are engaged in ongoing part-time, full-time. We are committed to providing you with ability to customize these benefits to your individual needs. We offer six primary types of insurance, health insurance, dental, vision, Term life insurance, wellness, and paid off. And then it says you have stock options to so substitute the approval of company's board of directors of compensation com commitment, compensation commit committee. You'll be granted an option to purchase two shares, blah, blah, blah. So this looks legit. It's not, it's a fake one. And I went online and I found this online. I even called the actual recruiting firm and they say that this is now legit. So I literally called them. This was last year. Um, 12, 8, 2022, 12, 15, 2022. So, and it has the email and it has this person. This person is not real. If you go to the address of this, and I'll stop sharing. If you go to the address, this literally takes you to the middle of nowhere. There's nothing. There's no building, no nothing. So that was the offer letter I got. And then I called a recruiting firm because it's associated with a recruiting firm. And they say, yeah, that's not, that's not real. We've been getting a lot of complaints about fake jobs and fake interviews and fake people. So for guys that are for you guys that are applying for jobs, just be careful out there. Um be wary of where you apply and where you go online. There are a lot of scams out there and I and I'm just like I'm just trying to keep you alert and aware of it. I don't want you getting I don't want you going into a job and assuming you got a job offer or letter. But like I said, those are the fake things like social security number, they're asking for you to buy equipment, they give you a fake check. Um 
they ask for more information about you, like your street address, where you live, all that good stuff. Like, you, you didn't even get a job yet. And they guess if you offer a letter, you haven't, you didn't even have, if you didn't get any type of phone interview, that's a red flag. You didn't even get a physical interview, that's a red flag. You want to, you tell them, oh, I want to get on a video call with you, and they refuse to get on the video call with you, that's a red flag. Or you talk, oh, I want to call you, they say no, that's a red flag. So it's like, you got to be careful with your data and your information, um, whether it's your social security number, your name, whatever, just be careful what you give out and what you put on, on social media and what you put on your website or what I mean, what you put on a, on a website, on a portal. Me, I always recommend like reach out to job recruiters like Robert Half Technology, Mitchell Morton, um, Tech Systems, Ezeki Service, uh, K, K Force, Kelly Services, like Talk to job recruiters that are real and legit that you see that you know that they have an account on LinkedIn. Confirm they have an account. Like this person, Ashley Michaels, whoever this person is, they didn't even have a LinkedIn profile. They didn't have a LinkedIn page. So obviously it's a scam, right? So and for me, it sucked because like I'm like super excited about the job. And and I'm like, oh, I got this job. I don't gotta do any interviews. Awesome. And then you know, you find out it was a scam. So, ah shoot, I gotta go, I gotta go apply for jobs again. So that's it. That's it for me for today. Quick video on scams. Just be careful with jobs out there. I don't want them, you know, messing with you. I also, I, I, uh, I'm gonna put a company on blast and then not real because I don't want you getting, I don't want you getting into the mindset that you just got a job offer. And also, we'll put a company on blast if they're full of crap. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Peace. Bye.